Hi, in the previous video you saw me unboxing this vintage Acorn Electron and God, it still smells. 80s electronics, beauty, I love the smell of that. Good stuff. Don't recommend you kids sniff anything, but uh, 80s electronics. Right, so I've uh, connected it all up. And I've got it working, lovely. And all it was was the um, ULA chip was slightly loose, so I reseated that. And beauty, I got it working. And the um, ULA chip, when that was a bit loose, the screen had come up. And after about a minute or so, it just freeze, got all messages. So I took it apart and uh, reseated it, and it seems to be fine. So solder's untested, but now it's working. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic programming. So let's program this thing. Let's go. Right, in this first lesson we are going to learn a few basic commands. Rem, print, go to, list, and CLS. So the first one we're going to learn is the print command. And the other, other commands, apart from CLS, we'll put into a program. So we can do print, and nothing happens. We can do print, 12 times 12, gives us 144. If we were to do print pi, we get pi, and you can do print zero divided by zero, and we get division by zero. Now, if we print some text, so print, we get the no such a variable. And if you want to make the the text come out, let's introduce some speech marks. So the speech marks will go to so print speech marks, my name or whatever word you want in there close this speech box. So let's do it. Print speech marks. So it prints the prints the text that I've typed in between these speech marks. Uh, the next command we're going to learn is CLS which stands for clear screen. So it's CLS. Brilliant, we've cleared the screen. So let's write our first program. So we're going to start off with line 10. So 10 and we're going to do REM, which is a remark statement, a new command, and basically REM stands for remark, you can have whatever you want in there, REM, so I'm going to have my first program, by Jezza, and what that's going to do is just basically, if someone reads your code, okay, it's your first program, you can do like the next 10 lines will do this, the next 10 lines will do that, set the REM statement in there, just to make your code a bit easier to read so and I always tidy up your code as I got taught at college. Um, I haven't done BBC programming or basic programming in 20 plus years so I'm learning, I'm starting to learn it all again so beauty. 20 and a print and you can put whatever you want here and you can do your sum so you have your sum all over the screen but I'm going to do my name so okay. and 30 and you command go to now we're going to go to line 20. I want to run it. Prints my name all the way down the screen there. Now I can just press escape and I get escape at line 20. Let me just clear the screen again. Another new command we're going to learn is list, which lists our program. And you can just do L dot if you're feeling a bit lazy. You can even do L dot or list 10, 20. Should list the first two lines. I could do, if you said, say, a 50 line program, I could do 10, 60 or 10, 30, whatever. So just to print so many different lines out. They can do list or L dot. Now we're going to change line 20. We're going to have a new, introduce a little character in there. So we're going to use the up arrow key, or you can retype it and copy. Please, semi code on at the end. Now when I list it, now replace line 20 from there 
and added the character we typed at the end. So now when I run it, you get my name all the way down the screen, all over the screen, or whatever text you type in between them speech marks. And that was uh, how to write your very first basic program. Yes, it is very basic. And uh, I'll be learning this as I go, go along, watching various different programs online about it. It's quite interesting when you learn the old, old school coding, you realise what went into making a game. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers and beers. Bye, bye, bye.